Hello, can you hear me? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am, you are audible. Our third experiment was PID. Not PID, it's actually uh, third experiment is uh, flow control, right? There's no PID. Uh, that is part of the PID. Yes, but, ma'am. Uh, Yes, we are using the PID controller in that. Uh, that is a flow controller. Okay. Design of a PID based flow controller process. There is the third experiment. And we are going to read about the fourth experiment. We write on the M of the experiment, everyone. Implementation of Implementation of Implementation of feed forward controller strategy. Feed forward controller strategy. Have you all written? And we'll design it uh, using uh, our simulink. Okay, using simulink. So can you please tell me what is a controller? What is a controller? We must have started in process control. Sahad has already taught to you, right? Yes or no? I think Amit sir is taking your classes. Yes or no? Anissa? Suparna? Tanma? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, Amit sir is taking your classes, right? right? Yes, ma'am. He must have uh, completed the uh, feed forward control now. Yes or no? Can you please tell me what is a controller? Simply, what is a controller? Anyone? Ma'am, controller generates a control signal to the final element. Yes. Anything else? Sangram? Jagata? Anyone else? I will also say the same, ma'am, that it generates a controlling signal based on the uh, error mm -hmm. which is generated by the set P. And it controls the control variable. Okay. Can you please me what are the different parts of a control system? Close loop control system. What is the different part of a closed loop control system? Anyone? The controller gain, the input signal, the feedback gain and the output signal. Thanks much. Input signal error detector controller 
Has it got detected? Yes or no? It has a controller and the funnel controller. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Actually, uh, it is very um, disappointing that no one is responding. If a teacher is asking something and no one is responding except one or two person, and they are, that is also they are uh, responding very possibly. Why? Why? You have already studied all these things and we are asking something. You have done also in your uh, control system lab and control system theory as well as. So uh, it is very disappointing. No one is responding properly. Why? The teacher will go on asking and he people are not going to respond. Then what is the use of taking the class? It is a two-way conversation, right? It is not a one-way conversation. No one is going to scold you whether you are saying it correctly or um, saying it in a wrong manner. That is no one is going to uh, scold you. So why if people are not participating in, in when someone is asking to you? Why people are not participating in that? What is the process? Can you please tell me any one of you? Yes. Ma'am, the thing that we control is named process or plant. Yes. Only control or uh, uh, what is the use of feedback in the uh, circuit? Ma'am, to yes. measure the change and calibrate it with the set point. Yes, very good. Anyone else? Can we manipulate with the feedback? Can we manipulate a system with the help of feedback? Asima? Yes, Tanmay? Yes, Tanmay? Ma'am, just a moment. Yes. Asiva, can you please tell me? No, I don't know. Okay, Sasti. That is. Asiva, can you please tell me how many classes you have attended in the lab? Yes, ma'am. How many classes you have attended? Um, previous all classes, ma'am. This is your first class? No, ma'am. Previous all classes. You have attended? Yes, ma'am. Then how can you say that you don't know? Sarah has already taught to you guys all these things. Ma'am, what was the question? 
Microceres can be manipulated with the help of a feedback. Manipulate what? Manipulate the system or the manipulate the output comparing yes, with the reference input. Yes, ma'am. The, feed, the feedback which we have, it, it will, uh, uh, like, uh, if it is uh, uh, summing over there, then it will uh, generate a negative error, positive error, depending on the feedback. And then it will, uh, the controller will adjust itself according to the feedback. Okay. What is your forward path? Can you please tell me? Sushil Behra? Ma'am, yes, starting ma from set point. Yes, yes. Yes, Shilva, you can say. Then after that, Sushil. Yes, Shilva. Ma'am, forward path is the path uh, that goes straight from the set point to the uh, process or output that is that is okay, that, means, point, uh, that, that means we are giving it a system yes yes ma'am it is the main path or the main path from which we uh, from Control the input element. to the uh, directly to the output ma'am consisting and then the of the process or plant this is the yes, forward are, path uh, yes we are giving it a system we are giving some input and we are getting the output that is the forward path yes or no Yes, ma'am. Yes, we are giving it a system. We are giving some input, and depending upon the input we are giving, we are getting the output. That is simply a forward path. Okay. Then what is a feed forward path? Can you please tell me? What is a feed forward path? Ma'am, the path from the source to the load. If there will be any disturbance, then what will happen? Will you going to control with the controller? Will you have to uh, manipulate that? I didn't understand the question. Suppose you have, uh, suppose there is some disturbance. Okay. Then what will happen to a fit forward path? Will it going to affect? Ma'am, there will suppose, be no effect. Suppose, it is not having yes. any feedback. There will be no effect? Yes, there will be no effect because it doesn't know what is the disturbance. It doesn't have a feedback. Okay, suppose we are given it a system which has got state input. Okay, we are given it a controller. Okay, then we are given it a transform process or plan and you are getting the output and before the process you, uh, you have some uh, disturbance in the form of state input as you take it as a state input okay and you are given it a, uh, whatever output you are getting you are given it a feedback suppose you are given it a feedback uh, of one unit feedback okay then what will you do what will you get you're going to get any disturbance, uh, any effect of uh, to the system. Is it going to affect the system? My question is: We are giving it an input, then a controller, then a plant, and you are getting the output, and the output is being fed back to the Detector, okay, through unity feedback, through unity feedback. Then, in this condition, this is a pit forward path, and if we are given, if we are given with a disturbance, then what will happen? Ma'am, a feed forward. Yes. Ma'am, feed forward is used to compensate for an impeding disturbance. Yes. 
so uh so i don't think it will affect the circuit it will compensate whatever disturbance yes. it has been created it will compensate right so uh, the loop will be all right after that i think <laughs> Yes, there will be no deal because it will be manipulated easily because we have given it a set point and that's uh, that is supposed to stay input and we are giving it the detector that input is given to the detector and output of the detector is the difference between the set point and the feedback unit unity feedback unit okay output of that uh, feedback circuit and that is given to a controller and output of that controller is given to a plant okay. Yes, ma'am. Then we are given the disturbance. Disturbance to the process of the plant. Then whatever output we are getting, is it can, uh, can we control it that uh, output? Yes, ma'am. We can the... compensate that uh, disturbance, whatever it has been created, the disturbance. We can compensate it through that uh, feed feedback. Uh, look. Yes. Okay. So generally, um, I'm, I'm going to share you the screen. Is the diagram clearly visible to you guys? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. So yes, this is the feed control control system. Okay. We are given it a um, manipulated variable. Okay. And that manipulated, uh, we we have a feed forward controller, and we have a process. Suppose we are given it a set point. Okay, that set point is given to the feed for to controller. You can take any type of controller. You can take PID controller or PA controller or depending on your requirement. Okay, then output that the controller is given to the process, and at the same time we are giving uh, some disturbance to the process as well as. Okay, and whatever output we are getting out of the process that is being controlled by the process. Before it is being uh, given as an output, and that output is known as a control variable. And the main function of this bit photo controller is to uh, uh, is to uh, manipulate the disturbance if there it is com coming, and it will completely eliminate that disturbance, and it gives the control output. That is your control variable. Okay. And that manipulated, yes. And what do you mean by disturbances? Disturbance. Suppose you are given it any type of disturbance, any signal, any um, sinusoidal signal, or any ramp input you can keep, or you can uh, see uh, step input you can keep. You whenever you are designing for the circuit, then you will change, see the changes. When whenever you are giving a sinusoidal signal, then what is the disturbance? Uh, how it is going to affect your feed um, forward control system? And what is the output we are getting? Depending on that, uh, you can change it to uh, uh, your uh, unit step input, or you can uh, change it to a, a uh, uh, ramp input. Anything you can see, take any value, or you can give any transfer function that will going to affect you as a disturbance to the process. And you have to see whether you are going to properly eliminate the disturbance and whatever required output you should get. And you are getting that output or not? That is our criteria. You are given it a fit for a control system. Okay. You are given, you are given it a uh, controller, and that is uh, is a that uh, we are taking it as a PID controller. Okay. And that controller output is given to a um, process. And whenever you are giving it to a process, uh, we are also getting some disturbance, either in the form of sensor and wave. Or you know, step input or a ramp input, and after we are getting that output from the plant or the process, that must be controlled, and the disturbance must be eliminated so that 
whatever is our required output without giving instruments whatever is our required output whether we are getting the same output or not is there any changes in the settling point is there any changes in the maximum overshoot you have to show that check that okay but my point the feed for its main uh, control uh, control its main uh, function is that to control the disturbance to control the disturbance okay and give the required output and that must be controlled and that is called your control variable okay it means uh, if we are given in the feed forward system and there is some disturbance is there and we have to reject that disturbance and we have to give uh, the output in such a manner that that disturbance will not affect your control variable the disturbance will not affect your control variable but my point okay understood and what is the difference between manipulated variable and controlled variable Manipulated, manipulated variable is that uh, whenever we are giving a feedback to an error detector, okay, we are given it a set point, yes or no? And the difference between the uh, output of that error detector is the set point minus the feedback output, okay? And um, whether it is a plus or minus, that depends upon the phase of the feedback circuit, okay? That depends upon the phase of the feedback circuit. If it is a positive feedback, then we are getting added it, and if we have negative feedback, that means uh, we are getting it is negative, depending upon the phase reversal, whether it is a uh, zero degree phase reversal or one degree phase reversal, that will be decided. Okay, and whatever output we are getting, that is the actuating error signal, and that output is given to a controller. Okay, and we have to manipulate that. That is not the actual output. We are manipulating that output. Okay, so uh, actually we are given it as reference input. And that reference input is being compared with that manipulated output, and that output is given to a controller. Again, after that, that is the output of the controller is given to a process of the plant, and whatever the control uh, required output we are going to get, that has to be controlled. And we have to see whether we are getting the actual output or we are getting some error in that. And again, if we are getting some error, then again we have to do with the same process. Okay. You got my point? Yes or no? Yes. So this is actually our task. Uh, you are given it a controller. Uh, you have to take it as a PID controller, obviously. Uh, and we are given it that input, and that side input is your uh, step input that is given with you. And uh, we are given it a process or a plant where that means you are given it a uh, um, trasa function which uh, the process is most some has got some trasa function okay we are given it that and first of all you have to find out the uh, output uh, by giving the state input then the controller then the process and then you are given it a unity feedback uh, from the uh, output of the process uh, to the input uh, um, before the Mm, your controller, PID controller, okay, and you see what is the output you are getting. Then you have to give some in, uh, disturbance after the process, okay, the output of the process and the disturbance that will be given. And then after that, you have to uh, go to the um, control variable and you have to see whether uh, what is the difference you are getting. Whenever you are giving some disturbance, what is the output you are getting, and whenever you are not giving any disturbance. What is the output you are getting? Okay, so you have to design this circuit by using simulink. Okay, and you have to see the changes. And uh, when the, the next will go for different different values. Suppose we are giving it a controller, PID controller. I will give I will give some trust function over here. Then disturbance with a, a different trust function. Then process with a different trust function. And uh, input is set point is always as a st uh, state input. Okay, then you see what is the changes you are getting for different uh, uh, values of the transfer function. And first you take a simple example. First you take a set, in, uh, set point as a um, state input. Okay, then PID controller. Okay, 
then uh, from KID control node, the output is given to your process and I'll provide you the trust function of that process. Okay, then use, uh, output of that process is giving us a unity feedback to the uh, your detector, error detector. Okay, and that output of the error detector is given to the controller. Okay, and here uh, in the first step, we will not give any disturbance. In the next step, you have to use a error circuit. Then you have to give uh, the disturbance. Okay. Then you see what is the output you are getting. Okay. Next, you compare both these two. And what is the changes in the settling um, time? And what is the changes in your uh, oversight? Okay. What my point? Yes, ma'am. So this is the block diagram. I'll provide you uh, in the group uh, this block diagram. Okay. See here. Uh, I have the um, part, but I will provide you right now. Okay. I'll just provide this one, and I'll give you the trust function of the process. And you have to text uh, set input. See, first of all, what you are getting without any disturbance. Then when you are giving the disturbance, what you are getting. And you take the disturbance as step input. That will be easier for you. Okay. And then instead of taking step input, you can take any function, any trans function. I'll, I'll give it that to you. Okay. Any type of trans function. Okay. It may be faster or you can take it any other. Okay. Then we'll change the process value also as well as we'll uh, take another um, task function of that. Then we'll see what what the um, um, changes we are getting. So your task is to first of all your task is to uh, design the circuit, fit power control circuit, without disturbance. Okay. Then with disturbance and uh, your feedback will be unity. Your feedback will be unity. So just uh, I'll show you one minute. This one. See this. Uh, this is your step input that is given to this, and you are given in the network circuit. Okay, then the PID controller, then you are given the transfer function, and you are getting the output. And whenever it is required, you have to add a um, error circuit once more, and you have to give a disturbance. Okay, distributor, and again you will see the output. Okay, got the point. And you are giving the yes. Here no disturbance is given. Here no disturbance is given. In the next time you say uh, give the disturbance. Okay. Understood. Understood. Yes. Ma okay. Uh, so I'm sharing this. Uh, uh, to, uh, this uh, with you guys uh, and start designing with the simile. Okay, we write down the trust function of the process. Pi by write down pi by pi by. Six S six S plus one. I by six S plus one. The transformation of the plant. Okay, all the process it is given into. So you design the fit control control system without disturbance first. You give the step input uh, as your set point. Okay. Design everyone and share it. Yes, ma'am. Sure, ma'am.
like this it's coming Can you repass the background? Um, one more minute. Style program. Access color to black or figure color to white. Not good. पीआईडी कंट्रोल में भी ओवरशूट आ सकती है। कितने आ सकते हैं? मैं मैं वो आस्किंग दैट भी यूज पीआईडी कंट्रोलर्स तू ओवरशूट। जो जनों आपको आज तक पार्टी में सुधार हुआ है, अभी तो शाटर है, उधर एक प्रॉब्लम Yes, ma'am. What is your shuttling time? Ma'am, it seems to be 8 or 9. Yes, ma'am, it's approximately 8 or 9. Within 8 to 9, approximately within 8.5 to 9. And what is your opposite? Uh, you are getting maximum of 1.2, more than 1.2. Ma'am, more than 1.2 is coming. Yes. Okay, uh, then you give the disturbance, what you are getting, the changes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What about others? Turn without disturbance. Same thing, ma'am. No different. Yes, sir, but yes. Uh, what is the maximum overshoot you are getting and what is the settling time? Are you getting all the same answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So give the disturbance. Yes, ma'am. Everything is same. Yes, ma'am. After giving disturbance, uh, We'll get some changes in the oversuit and the cyclic time as well. There is some changes. Ma'am, I'm a PID control of source the internal, they were external. Jahadi Pedro internal, don't know. Directly PID control of the CNU Jackie, don't know. And Kamejo state input the boss, how would it ask function you can take? No issue on that. Um, give this uh, disturbance to, uh, to a um, transfer function. Then, uh, output of that transfer function is given to a adder circuit, and after that, uh, output of that adder circuit is given as a feedback to the adder one. You can take another uh, transfer function uh, 6 by 1 plus 2s. You can take transfer function number 2.
six by two s plus one. Take the simple one so that it will be easier for you. Ma'am, second Ma transfer function कौन था? Six by two s plus one. Ma'am, disturbance होय था ना? Yes, disturbance होय था. Okay, ma'am. And the output of the uh, disturbance board uh, insert करिए. Disturbance तो मैं वो state input um put in as a another input नहीं हो. ताँ पर ये तक वो एक transfer function flow रहे अंदर output of the state input is given to the transfer function. Okay. And that output of the transfer function is given uh, to the second adder circuit. Okay. We can get give that in that way. First, you have to step into the show. Then you are given to a uh, adder circuit. Okay. Then output of that adder circuit is given to the going to the controller, the AD controller. Then output of that PID controller is given to a transfer function that was given to you five by six uh, s plus some some something like that. Then output of that uh, transfer function is given to a another adder circuit. Okay. And another input of that adder uh, second adder circuit will be uh, the first is step input. Then your transfer function that was given to you six by two s plus one. Then output of that um, transfer function is given as a second input to the second adder circuit. Okay, then again that adder output uh, is given to the scope, and a part of that output is given as a um, feedback to the adder one. In that manner, you can do that, or you can directly take step input instead of uh, uh, taking another for any other function. You can directly take step input. You can see the changes, uh, whatever what actually you are getting. Ma'am, I wanted to know that if I if we are using a PID controller, then uh, shouldn't we eliminate the problem of overshoot? They are made for that only. Yeah, no, no, no. Because we are giving the disturbance, because of that we cannot eliminate completely. And even if we don't give disturbance, we shouldn't get uh, any kind of overshoot, right, ma'am? Yes. But because that you have to tune the PID controller, right? Have you tuned the PID controller before running the? Yes, you have to tune. You have tuned that, Tanmay. How to tune that? If we, if we get overshoot, then uh, should I increase the value of the integrative function? Yes, you can. Let me try. Yes, you can. And before that, and before running the say, um, I'll. Design. Uh, you have to tune the PID controller. Then only you get uh, less amount of less amount of load. Now we did. Yes, did you did that actually. Now we didn't knew that uh, we have to tune the PID controller. You don't know that. Okay. Can you? Any one of you? Can you share your screen? So that uh, otherwise you do one thing, you click on the PID controller. Okay, click on that. Then uh, there will be option over there tuning at the right hand part. There will be screen will be a small screen will be open, and the lower part, lower right hand part, there will be a tuning. Okay, click on that. We double click on the PID controller. Then. Uh, The small uh, screen will be uh, visible. Is it visible, Chima? Yes, ma'am. It's coming. Yes. Then uh, tune on that. There will be option will be there at the um, right hand uh, uh, down part. Okay. You can tune on that. Yes, ma'am. Maybe just a moment. Yes. yes. Yes, ma'am. After that, a PID tuner uh, uh, graph is coming. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Plot reference track. Yes, yes. Yes, ma'am. Then after that, close that. Then after that, a tuning has been done. Then after that, you can run the civil inclusion circuit. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
मैम फाइव वे ट्यूनिंग पीआईडी कंट्रोलर मिस सुपर्णा वे ट्यून तू मेक इट लीनियर ओके द ग्राफ तू मेक द ग्राफ लीनियर ओवर शूट आल्सो बट आफ्टर ट्यूनिंग आल्सो इट्स कमिंग द सेम ग्राफ राइट नो नो नॉट सेम लाइक ओवर शूट डिक्रीज्ड समवट यस
Can you draw me again to see uh, what is the graph there, output you are getting? Something like this, man. Ma'am, I am also getting different now. Taking the time as thirty seconds. And this is the time as thirty seconds. So, even if I, I have taken time as thirty seconds because it is taking that time to settle down. Why? Why? This will not. Change. Yes. Don't don't take the uh, time as thirty seconds. Don't take it. You won't be able to see the full graph. Here we can see that it takes more time than ten seconds to settle down. Yes. So you won't see the full graph. That is why I did thirty seconds. This happened. I have tuned my PID, so there was. In here, there is no disturb. Uh, there is no overshoot at all, and but here there is some overshoot. Yes. I haven't tuned this one all the time. You are getting the right output of this graph after tuning, but how is it possible that you are not getting the output of the? Uh, you are getting different output. You see, I am showing my output. Uh, what I have got? Uh, just a minute. Yes, ma'am. Wait, uh, I'm sending. Actually, I'm unable to share my screen, uh, so I'm sending uh, the peak of uh, my output. Uh, so see. Uh, my output is like this. Our transfer function is different, man. Uh, but uh, just function is that means your k value is different. Uh, that is pi pi or one plus six six plus one. So uh, that will help make any uh, changes uh, a lot. What I call it. The graph should be like that because you are using P I D control. Yeah. Uh, can you please share your screen? Uh, yes. Uh, with disturbance, I am just sharing my screen. Just a minute, then I will. Um, just a minute. Uh, that was my uh, output for the without disturbance. I'm sharing this one. So check it. This is with disturbance. I'm almost uh, see my changes. Only it uh, changes is my transfer function. Instead of five, I've taken ten. Okay. Uh, the upper graph is you know, without disturbance and the lower graph is with disturbance. Yes. Right. Uh, can any one of you share your screen? Ma'am, have you tuned it? Yes, I have tuned that. Before running, I have tuned both. But after tuning, ma'am, how will this come? And this, it, it has so much overshoot over here. Yeah, I'm also okay. Yes, I'm saying that. Then, yes, I'm also. Overshoot is there. 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 Yes, Yes, ma'am. I am also getting the same. Yeah. Um, the upper one is for uh, with disturbance, and the lower one is uh, without disturbance. Um, here overshoot is coming more, just more than two. Yes. And here it's nearly one, one, one yes. point, two, one point two, and uh, settling time is. Yes, ma'am. It's coming from near about seven to eight, I think. Yes, seven to eight. For without dis disturbance and with disturbance, it's coming nearly eight to nine. That will be increased because our overshoot is increasing. Na, that's because of that. Second time also, I thought it will be increased in that case. So, can I can you please share your screen? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, this is for without disturbance case. Yes. I've done in two different simulink. Yes. And this is for uh, the with, with disturbance case. And this is what yes. the graph is coming. Yes, right. 
Yes, ma'am. So, Panna, can you double click your PID controller? Yes. Just a minute. Yes, Tanmay. Main, main, main. Go to the main one. Below that. Below time domain. And that main, one. Yes. If you haven't uh, tuned it. So no, no, I have tuned it. After tuning also, it's coming the same option. Listen, listen. Just click on tune. Yes. And when that graph comes. Uh, yes, the graph will come like this. No, no, ma'am. There is an option over there to update the block. The block will be updated okay. with the new values of P, I, and D. That that is what is what makes by tuning, ma'am. I'll show you. In yes, my yes. Work. Click on view. But uh, but, uh, but uh, we have taken one one zero. Okay, tune. And one one zero is not tuned one, ma'am. But just let me tell that the one one zero is not the tuned one because we are not changing anything. The tuned value will be completely different, ma'am. I'll show you. Okay. Because when I tune, there is no overshoot. That is what means by tuning, ma'am. I'll show you. Yes, yes, yes. Like, see, ma'am, my PID uh, values are like this because I have tuned it. So it is completely different from everyone. But if I have to, like, if I change it, like, one over there. Okay, and this was earlier 100. Yes. Now if I run this, it will come something else over here. Over here, I have to also but, change uh, it. But if but I do this. Yes, yes. Tanmay, just a minute. Just a minute, Tanmay. Uh, you close this, close this one. Before, uh, don't do tuning right now. Uh, um, click on the PID controller. Double click. Yes. That, uh, see here. You, you have got taken the proportional as one 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 zero. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yes, I'm going to show you in this one. This is the graph that you are all getting, right, ma'am? Hello? Yes, Tanma, yes. Ma'am, this is the graph you are all getting, right, ma'am? Yes, yes. This is without tuning. Now, even if you click this, and even if you apply here tune, nothing will change. Okay, like, if even if I close this, I will still mm -hmm. get the same graph. Okay. You can see this is the same graph, because I haven't actually tuned it. You just click on tune. Now, when you tune it, mm -hmm. there will be an option over here. Uh, let me just, uh, there is an uh, option over uh, option over here that is the update block. Now, when I click on update block, mm -hmm. all my values here are going to change. Now, this is the actual tuning done by my PID control. Now, when I run this one, okay. here is the graph without overshoot. Yes, this is without overshoot. This is the okay. tuned one, ma'am. Okay, that means so we are doing the tuning, but we are not updating the values, yes, right? Yes, ma'am, exactly. You are not changing the PID con tuning. You just... So, that means we are not updating the... Uh, after tuning, we are not updating the values. Because yes, of that, we are getting overshoot, okay? Yes, ma'am, exactly. You shouldn't get any type of overshoot. And even after tuning, ma'am, we have to yes. change the settling time and the transient response so that we get the graph with no overshoot at all, like right? zero overshoot. So we have to do that also, like tuning manually also. Yes. Because that, but because if we just click on tune, that auto tune will do what it thinks that it's the best. But then mm -hmm. we have to change that one also. But uh, we can't do the tuning manually, right? You have to do works in that. No, not, not like that manually, ma'am. Uh, yes. When I yes. share my screen. Yes. Yes. 
yes ma'am this is what it is ma'am like uh, there are tuning tools over here so mm -hmm. auto tune get, get me got me this like everyone everything was in the middle so this is like the auto tune which we get now we can change this also suppose if i make this like this and response time if i take a little lower there will be no absolutely no overshoot but if i give my response time faster there will be some kind of an overshoot over here so i have to like uh, decrease my response time a little just enough mm -hmm. that what i need and i have mm -hmm. to make the transient behavior act accordingly so now there is no overshoot so now if i update my block then uh, the values are updated over here okay so if i run this there is going to be no overshoot at all at this same time after doing uh, uh, you have to update that values right and that is that depends on your choice ma'am but the question is that ma'am why am i getting like over here seven and uh, over here like uh, around this is around one because one, let me yes. just it's made settling around one yes. and uh, over here it settles around seven that that i don't know ma'am why this is happening but uh, chinma this is in the part of this fit forward controller we have not completed the controller the complete controller design part we are lagged with something okay this is just to we are given uh, we are given it a controller and the process we are given some uh, we are getting some output to without disturbance and with disturbance but uh, uh, we have to design a little bit more Ma'am, now no, no, no overshoot at all. Yes. Right. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, just can you tell me, ma'am, why this is coming like over here seven? I don't understand this one. Which one? Um, the robot suit. No, ma'am. Like settled set, around seven, ma'am. This should settled mm -hmm. around. Settle around one. This should settle around one, but now it's settling around seven. Yes. And that is why that is what I don't understand. Everyone is getting like one only. Disturbance doesn't cause any change in the graph, but my it is changing some uh, changing something. So I don't know what is wrong with this. We have changed the value to ten. Yes, ma'am. According to you. Yes. Yes. But uh, we are not sure that will not going to affect it. Ah, just like I have shared, ah, uh, another similar circuit with output can please go through it. And the last one I have shared. Have you gone through it? Come on. Did you? Like set yes. the values of feed forward and gain. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, this is just uh, the number uh, one, but uh, whatever actually tax is going to do is the last one that I have said. Okay, and uh, I'm going to do that. I'm just sharing the screen, and so that you can understand with the uh, calculation part of that one. Then only you can uh, derive that equation. I'm just sharing with the. Uh, Calculation one. See this. I have said a calculation and how that calculation is going to happen. I'll, I'm sharing the screen with you guys, and so that I can make you understand. I'm sharing the screen. Just a minute. Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'll see here. Uh, this is your uh, feedback control circuit, uh, which I'm going to explain you. Uh, this, this is uh, see here. Uh, this is your uh, transfer function. GS is your transfer function that is given with you, and there is a plant transfer function. Okay. And uh, what is a GS, GFS? This is your fit uh, forward transfer function. Okay. And NS is your disturbance that was given to you, 
and after getting the insulin, we are giving to the plant over here, CNS. After we are getting the output of that, okay, that is nothing but your disturbance of the transfer function, GNS, okay, and after getting the disturbance. Then GCS, uh, this is nothing but your uh, transfer function of the feedback controller circuit, feedback controller circuit. See here, you try to understand this diagram. Now, see here, uh, you are given it a reference input RS, okay, reference signal and that you can replace with it is your set of um, state function, okay. Now, you are given to this uh, input. Now, I am getting the feedback over here as a 1, okay. So, this is my actuating signal. Okay, and this is actuating signal is the difference of this reference input and the um, uh, signal that I am getting from the um, forward control path. Okay, uh, transmission of the uh, feedback control circuit. Okay, then after that, this actuating error signal is given to the uh, your uh, GCS. Okay, then to the process of the plant, and that is again given to a adder circuit. Okay. And the transfer function of your disturbance signal is given to the other circuit, and output of that circuit is given as a uh, your um, CS. Okay, and that output is taken as a feedback that you need the unit feedback on um, you know, to the other circuit over here. So what will you do over here? Uh, so CS equal to nothing but your uh, GCS into GS. Okay, GCS into GS into ES. This part. Plus your this part, okay? NS into ZNS, okay? NS into ZNS. Now we have to replace ES with this value that is given RS, okay? Minus CS, this part minus CS, and this part also as well as, okay? GF and S, okay? GFS and NS. This input is also coming GFS and NS, okay? Now this part will remain the same. Now we will have to simplify this part. Uh, we have to make CS, uh, RS minus CS part as a one part. And this will uh, going to uh, change this GF uh, into NS. What is the value? That will be GF into NS. This will be GCS into GS. Okay. Into GFS, this part. Okay. GCS into GS. Okay. And GFS plus GNS. After simplification of this, but we are taking NS common from, from the total circuit. So, we are getting uh, these values. Then, after simplification, uh, so we have to take as a um, coefficient of NS set to be 0. If we take G, this part will be 0. Then, what will happen? This will become GCS into GS, okay, into GFS, this part plus GNS. Because the, if we take this one, this will become equal to 0. If we simplify this, then we have to find out from this, by putting this equal to 0, we have to find out the equation as GFS equal to uh, minus GNS by GCS into GS. Okay. This part. This one. Okay. This part. Uh, GFS equal to, if we put this part as a 0, okay. This coefficient will make uh, NS coefficient equal to 0, then uh, this will become equal to 0. And if we simplify this, we will get GFS from this equation that minus GNS by GCS into in that, uh, that equation I have already shared. This will be equal. You have to put these values. We are given a GNS, we are given a GCS, and you are given a GS. And you have to find a GFS forward to do. Uh, transfer function from this equation with a negative symbol. But see here, uh, whatever uh, I have shared with you guys right now, uh, just a minute. This is your uh, uh, this one. This is the state input that is given uh, to the periodic uh, controller over here. This is the periodic controller. Okay. Here this one address is given to you. And this is the normal feedback uh, that we have already done without feedback, uh, without disturbance that we have done. It. Then uh, this is given to an another controller. Okay. Uh, output of that controller is given as a process scan. That is your GP. 
process can okay there is one other process function we have to find it out then uh, you are given with the <coughs> then uh, another we are given the disturbance over here that disturbance is given to a uh, quick forward transfer function okay and this is your disturbance transfer function that is given to you and the um, uh, feedback of that uh, transfer function is given as a quick forward transfer function and um, that we can gain multiplied factor you can take it as a minus or also that is not an issue if you depending upon your calculation part you will going to give the gain okay then output of that then that is given you the add of one this one then this will be given to this and for this we have a formula over here just a minute this one see here the, the, your transfer function uh, disturbance transfer function is given to you gd okay and process transfer function is given with you then uh, your feed forward transfer function is nothing but you equal to minus gd as by gps that you have to find out this uh, by uh, calculating this you can go for this for this equation also the same thing nothing but this is your transfer function of the disturbance and this is your gcs and this is gs and uh, you have to find out the fit for your transfer function we will apply this uh, over here in this diagram see here here okay the process gain whatever value we have given with this uh, this is gp process gain and it is fit for your transfer function and disturbance you have to find out this value you have to multiply uh, you have to divide this um, with a negative symbol so that we will get this fit forward um, value okay and with that uh, you will give as a input to this other circuit and then we will design this part so that you can get the output like this we are getting the output like this whatever we have designed it will be done you can go for that uh, if we try for each uh, so that uh, you can check it whether you are getting the exit output or you are getting the same output or not so i'll give you uh, the disturbance transfer function as uh, just a minute you can write a disturbance transfer function as uh, 1 by uh, you can take i'm not giving the exact value of whatever it is over here i'm changing it a little bit okay so or you want the same one you just tell me if you can say i'll uh, say at the same one but uh, i want some changes in that um, so that you guys can uh, see whatever changes i'm getting are not the same as uh, before Okay, so uh, I want to change the values uh, of the disturbance transfer function as well as the um, transfer function of the plant. Then after that, you can find out the fit forward transfer function. Okay, then you design that uh, with the given formula that was provided with you guys. Okay, got my point? Yes, ma'am. So, uh, you take uh, the transfer function, uh, what do you want? You want the same transfer function or you want some changes? I want that you do some changes over there. Or if you need the same one that was given in the uh, sibling uh, design circuit, you can type that one directly. What do you want? Do I change? Ma'am, since this is new to us, can we take the same transfer function that you used so okay. that we can compare our output and be sure else, ma'am, we will be very confused. Okay, okay. You can take. You can. You take um, the disturbance transfer function in 1 by 3.5s plus 1. You can take that. Transfer function of the plant as 1.45 4 divided by 4.5 as plus 1. 1.45 4 divided by 4.5 as plus 1. That is the transfer function of the plant. And, and, yes, yes, yes. 
that's a function of uh, your disturbance is 1 pi 3.5s plus 1. Then uh, that's a function of the plant is 1.45 whole divided by 4.5s plus 1. By using this tool, uh, you can find out the transformation of the peak power by using that formula that is provided to you um, in the WhatsApp group. Okay, uh, if you need, I will share the um, PDF that I have of NPTEL. Okay, uh, that is the um, PDF of your NPTEL. I am sharing with you guys, you can refer that one. Mm -hmm. That will look better for you. Ma'am, why is there a manual switch in your uh, MATLAB? You can you can keep it or you can remove it. That is not a big issue. Okay, ma'am. Should I share, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. You can share your screen. Tanmay, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Just a minute. Hmm. Yes. That's it. Yes. Yes, ma'am. This is the diagram. Uh, I was uh, whenever I give it some kind of a decimal value, it doesn't uh -huh. show over here. It shows like num by then like this, ma'am. What's the problem of this one? I don't know, but it's working, ma'am. Ah, that is no. Uh, yes, you're getting the same uh, input that you have got it. Okay. Right, correct. Okay. I have to make some changes on that uh, so that I can get the uh, same output like this. Because yeah. I'm not updating that uh, training part uh, because of that. Okay. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I actually did some manual tuning also. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. This was the actual one. Uh, this was, yes. uh, and I tuned it. This was the, uh, no, sorry, there. this was the auto tuning one. When I yes. auto tune it, I'll get like this one. But then I tuned it myself manually using these two, and I got this one, which is like this now the block response okay. which is okay uh, is Tarma, can you do uh, can you do without doing manually um, after getting auto tune uh, can you get me uh, show me the result yes ma'am ah uh, i have to wait man. yes yes This one I'll get, ma'am. Yes, yes. So if I update it. Yes. Yeah, this, way, this is the auto tune response. Okay, ma'am. Yes, yes. So graph will be like this. Graph will be like this. Yes. But then I manually tune it to my liking. I give a slightly lower response time and make the transient behavior more robust. Yeah. Then, uh, I think this is this one is good. Yeah. Just over here, and then I update my block. Yes. Then, uh, then I run it again, and this is the final one. Yes. But Tanma, you do one thing. Uh, instead of uh, doing manual tuning, okay, you first check the output of that auto tune. After getting what you do, you take the output of that and again you do the manual tuning and you take the output of both. Okay, you keep the output of both. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. Okay. And you make the background. Yes, so that that will do. Yes. Why you are going so by so many daily process? You can go directly. There will be option over there, reverse. Uh, you can do that directly also. Where, ma'am? Okay, do it. Do it. Okay. 
Ma'am, this is okay, fine? Yes. Supana? Yes, sir. Thank you, Dhanma. Supana, what about you? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I haven't tuned my PID controller. So, should I... Yes, 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 Ma'am, this is my output and I'm not, I haven't uh, tuned my PID controller. You tune it, then run it, then so. Okay, okay ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. This is how it's coming. Yes. After uh, this is the output of uh, output auto of payment. auto. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma so, when I will take it till 30 seconds, it will be better. Uh, can you repeat it, uh, Karma? What do you are saying? Ma'am, I was telling her to take it till 30 seconds, and it will be clear on the graph. Ma'am, you have also okay. taken 30 seconds. Yes. Now it's all right. Yes. Yeah, I took for 30 seconds now. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Spana. Yes. Thank Next you, ma'am. Next, Shinma, can you please share your screen? Then after that, you this. And what about the rest of the students? Suji, Susil, uh, what about you guys? Subendu, Surya Dara, Asima, Gazalakmi, Sangram, Biswajit. What about you guys? Only four to five students. BD? I am having current issue with you. Okay, okay, Sandram. Uh, we'll do it and share it in the group. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll uh, do it. Yes. Yes, uh, BD, Tapam, Sudhansu, Satpati, Subendu. What about you guys? Ma'am, I will share in the group. Yes. Later on, ma'am. Have you screen? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, um, it's uh, without uh, manual tuning. Yes. It's coming like this. Yes. You also do the same changes at uh, Predif. Uh, you do 30 seconds so uh, that it will be clear to this other. Okay. Yes, ma'am, I will do it. Next, we will do this here. Okay, uh, can you please tell me, have, uh, have you all write your name and registration in the chat box? I think. Uh, 